Hey everybody, this is Sean with Bright Agritech. Today we are making an updated video on how to mount the farm wall, uh, along with how to assemble and mount our supplemental farm wall lighting kit. After you finish the initial assembly of the top and bottom farm wall gutters, the next step is to mount the wall channels in place on the surface that you've selected. If you need additional help assembling the farm wall gutters, please reference our farm wall manual in the description below. When filled with water and full of mature plants, the farm wall can get fairly heavy. For this reason, we highly recommend mounting the wall channels to either brick, concrete, or directly into studs. In the application shown here, I'm using anchors to mount into drywall. This will be sufficient to support the weight of the four tower farm wall, but care must be taken when choosing the proper anchor. Remember, the hardware used for mounting to your wall is not included with your farm wall kit. Each farm wall will come with the appropriate number of wall channels used for mounting the top and bottom gutters. The two tower and four tower models come with two wall channels. The eight tower farm wall comes with four wall channels. If you've purchased the farm wall light kit, you will also receive a separate wall channel that will replace the wall channel used for mounting the top gutter. Remember, if you already have an existing farm wall installed that you are wanting to use the new light kit with, you will need to remove the top wall channel that you initially mounted and replace it with the wall channel that is included with the light kit. Begin by mounting the top wall channel first. Position the upper channel at a height that is easily accessible, but also allows the bottom gutter to sit slightly above the ground. For this particular application, I'm mounting the top channel at 78 inches from the ground, which will be perfect to accommodate the five foot zip grow towers. Get the channel level and mount it using the appropriate fasteners for your application. Once the top channel is in place, measure down from the top lip and position the bottom channel at the correct distance according to the tower size you are using. This distance will be 37 and a half inches for three foot towers and 62 inches for five foot towers. Level the channel and mount to the wall using the same steps used for the upper channel. When all your wall channels have been mounted, the next step is to install the rubber spacer directly below the center of the bottom channel. After the spacer is installed, you are ready to hang the top and bottom gutters. To do so, you will simply position the gutters such that the gutter clips hang over the top lip of the wall channels. Once the top and bottom gutters are in place, feel free to insert your zip grow towers. If not already installed, you can now connect your pump to the top irrigation line by using the included poly tubing. Simply force the tubing over the barbed fittings of the pump and the barbed elbow in the irrigation line. If you are having trouble getting the poly over the barbs, a heat gun or hair dryer can be used to soften the poly tubing to allow it to slide over easier. At this point, you are ready to assemble and install your farm wall light kit. The farm wall light kit is an easy solution for people who want to use their farm walls inside all year round. As you unbox your light kit, you will want to make sure all the parts are included. You should have one black wall channel, two adjustable light brackets, two light panels, four angle mounts, which are used for mounting two lights to a single light panel, the appropriate number of T5 lights, the clips for mounting the T5 lights, and a small bag of hardware. Once you've gone through all the parts, you can now start the assembly process. For this first assembly, I will be installing two lights per light panel using the angle pieces. Begin by mounting the T5 clips to the angle pieces using the short machine screws and nuts that are included in the light kit hardware bag. Attach one clip to each side using the pre-drilled holes. Tighten the clips using a Phillips head screwdriver and adjustable wrench. Since the material is fairly soft, take care to avoid over tightening. Once the clips are installed, mount the angle pieces to the light panel using the long machine screw and small acorn nut. Two angle pieces will mount to each light panel. Tighten screw and nut with screwdriver and wrench. Now that you've got all your angle pieces mounted to the light panels with the T5 clips in place, you are ready to attach the light panels to the adjustable brackets. Do this by using the larger bolts and acorn nuts that are included with your hardware package. When attaching the adjustable brackets to the light panels, make sure that the T5 clips are facing the part of the bracket that will insert into the wall channel. As you can see here, I initially did this backwards when filming this and had to flip the light panel so that my lights are facing my plants. You'll find out pretty quickly if you've mounted the panels the wrong direction. If you are installing the light kit for a two tower farm wall, you will not use the angle pieces to mount the lights to. 
Instead, you will mount the T5 clips directly to the face of the light panel using the appropriate length machine screws and nuts that are included in the hardware kit. From here, the rest of the installation is the same for each light kit. After you've mounted each of the light panels to the adjustable brackets, you can take these assemblies and insert the adjustable bracket into the slot of the wall channel behind the top gutter. Make sure the adjustable bracket goes through both slots and is sitting securely in the channel. Before you clip the T5 lights in place, you will want to remove the reflector that comes with the T5 light. Remove the bulb by rotating slightly and pulling up. Once the bulb is out, you can remove the reflector by taking one end and peeling upwards. Now that the reflector is removed, reinsert the bulb by turning until secure. Now, take the light and press it into the T5 clips. The clips should hold the light fixture securely in place. Be sure to stagger the two lights so that the link cord can connect the two. Each light fixture has a different cord connection in each end. One is rounded and one has a flat side to the receptacle, as shown here. You will need to make sure that one of each receptacle style is pointing up so that the link cord can be used to daisy chain the lights together. This allows you to only use one power cord for each set of two lights. After getting all of your lights clipped into place, plug them in and make sure they work properly. You'll also notice there is a thumb screw in the adjustable brackets that allows you to move the lights closer or further away from the face of the towers. When you have small transplants in your towers, you can move the lights closer to the plants. As your plants mature, you can increase the distance of the lights to accommodate the larger plant size. All right, so now you should know how to uh, mount the farm wall and the farm wall light kit. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments or uh, shoot us an email or give us a call. And uh, if you like what you're watching, please hit subscribe.